So here's the plan. We're just going to take what all the other popular bands are doing and we're just going to copy it just exactly that. We're just going to take what they're doing and we're going to do the exact same thing and it's going to work. Yes. Yes. What's up guys? Welcome back to Among the Fence. I am your host Aaron and today we're going to be talking about the album Like a House on Fire by Asking Alexandria. Asking Alexandria started about 2006. They are from the United Kingdom. They started out as kind of a metalcore, post-hardcore band, and they've done a bunch of different kind of things in that genre. But now they've gone more into hard rock to, I would say this album has a lot of pop in it, but not quite pop rock, but I mean, it's it's getting there. Naskin Alexandria has slowly been tiptoeing down that rabbit hole little by little, especially with the last two albums they came out with. They still kind of kept that asking alexandria charm that they always had that kind of edgy feel and it just after listening to this album i've almost given up hope so i want to start out talking about the first song on that album which is the title track like house on fire which is maybe the best song on the album it starts out with like this kind of industrial rock kind of sound which sounds very familiar but as soon as the verse comes in the whole song and the whole sound of the entire song turns into like this Maroon 5 like knockoff. Especially the vocals which are just smothered and drowned in vocal effects. The vocal effects throughout this entire album are so heavy. There's only like three songs where the vocals sound even just kind of natural. And unfortunately listening to the instruments in this album even those sound very, very digital. There's just not a whole lot of life going on in this album. Everything's just so drowned out by effects. The very next song, They Don't Want What We Want, is the kind of the same thing. It's just a very generic song. It starts out with this pretty decent drum pattern and cool riff, but then as soon as the verse hits, it does what every single verse in like every single like modern like pop rock song does you basically just take out all of the music all of it just just take it all out Min like bring it in all the volume levels on it just down so low to where you can just hear a little bit of sound in the background over these very expressive drum patterns with vocals and that explains every single verse throughout this entire album and then when you get to the chorus try and make it as big and catchy and epic and boring and lazy as you possibly can it's basically just arena rock and then it gets even worse with the next song believe it or not down to hell where it starts out with na na's and haze in the intro and then literally every single time it goes like between a verse to chorus or chorus back into verse or even a bridge it, the haze and the na na's come back it's in every single section and did i mention that it also sounds like a maroon 5 knockoff i feel like that's the theme of this album is let's see how close to one band we can get to sounding like and they just they, they just put up a dart board and just threw a dart and it landed on maroon 5 and they're like there we go that's it maroon 5 it is then we have the song i don't need you which again is very just generic and bland and kind of boring and it does have okay lyrics which i will admit that this album the lyrics in it aren't all that bad they do have some pretty decent moments but mixed with the vocal performance and the music in i don't need you it's just another sappy rock song from the early 2000s and i don't need you features grace grundy who has an absolute beautiful voice but on i don't need you I mean, there's just, <laughs> there's zero dynamics in the entire song. So you can't even really tell like just how good she is. It's just very flat all the way across. And the song directly after it, All Due Respect, is the most appropriate song you could ever have after a sappy rock song. It's basically a song about how you guys are nothing and they are freaking awesome. I couldn't help but just laugh myself into a cringe while reading the chorus. It says, I can fly and you're going to fall face down while I inspire greatness. As long as I'm alive, I'll fight and you'll be stuck in the shadows of the heights of my greatness. <laughs> Who knew that such inspiration and greatness would come from sounding so much like six or seven other bands. One of the songs I did enjoy on the album is It's Not Me, It's You, which it does have kind of a basic generic sound to it, but it has their own basic generic sound instead of sounding like 
like I said, everybody else. I mean, it's got a decent drum pattern, has this all around just a pretty good sound to it. The chorus is pretty boring and bland, but the lyrics and the vocals throughout the verses are pretty solid, and even the bridge is pretty good. I even enjoy the song What's Gonna Be because it has this really cool piano part that's unique compared to the rest of the album, but unfortunately, it gets drowned out by this gaudy, horrible vocal effects again and even the music for it just kind of drowns it out with all of its different effects and the song give you up was also pretty good it has a decent sounding drum pattern decent sounding guitar riff it, the chorus was kind of annoying and the lyrics get <laughs> they get pretty bad sometimes but i found myself still enjoying it even though the name sounds like you're about to get rickrolled and then you start reading the lyrics it definitely seems like you're about to get rickrolled g -g 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 give you up speaking about awkward lyrics the song takes some time which again the whole song is just horrible but the lyrics in it were it tried to be sexy i think maybe maybe it's a song about making love but one of the lyrics is hot sweat love drip which i <laughs> Wow. When the song In My Blood started up, I was kind of excited for it. It had a pretty good sounding guitar riff to it, but then it just got drowned out and overwhelmed by horrible vocal effects once again. That's also another theme of this, is let's just see how many vocal effects we could throw on our voices to just make it not even sound human and just completely drown out all the good music going on in the background. And by the end of the album, it seems like they got kind of tired of sounding like Maroon 5, so they decided to throw in a song that sounds exactly like Pink's song, So What? And that is The Violence. This album has some of the laziest like music writing I've heard in quite a long time. And it kind of reminds me of why I'm not that big of a fan of extreme, like just pop music in general and pop rock, because it's all just very boring and basic and bland and it all kind of copies each other it's like they heard pink song so what and the guitar player was like oh my god uh, guys i just got a revelation and he went and he picked up his guitar and he played the same exact riff just in a different key and all the other band members were like oh my god oh, uh, oh my god that's it and the very last song on the album is titled lorazepam which is a song that treats seizures which was kind of confusing but this is also one of the better songs on the album it has an overall good sound even though the digitally effect stuff going on in the background and the vocals are a little bit more natural it's still like it, it's a better written song it doesn't sound like everything else that you hear on the radio it sounds like something more original which uh, Honestly, that, that's all like listeners want. The pre-chorus did have a vocal insert of kids counting to four, which was kind of random. But the song does have a good amount of attitude and feel and freaking personality to it, man. Unlike almost all the other songs on this album, they're all just lacking personality and feel. And even though it is one of the better songs on the album, it's the closing song, which it doesn't really feel like a good closer. It's, the whole album just feels incomplete but i don't think that it's this song's fault i feel like the whole thing just feels like it's, it's just lifeless it's very empty so with all that said i'm gonna give like a house on fire by asking alexandria a two out of ten and now this is the disclaimer because i've never been a diehard fan of asking alexandria but i do appreciate their earlier stuff and if you listen to the earlier stuff and you like metalcore you know, hardcore even some post it, it's it's good it's some good music i just re-listened to stand up and scream and reckless and relentless again it's been quite a while but i listened to them and uh, i just wish I, I wish that they progressed in a different way instead of going into like extremely mainstream sound like everything else you hear on the radio zero personality zero life just void of all creativity and inspiration i wish instead of going that route they would have gone the route that it seemed like they were going in where they were just making good original music now that i just got done pissing off probably every asking alexandria fan there is i want to know what you guys think so go ahead and leave a comment below if you've listened to like a house on fire let me know what you think. If you haven't listened to it, go ahead and give it a listen and let me know what you would rate it. And if you enjoy this album, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this album, 
go ahead and give it a thumbs down, but let me know because I am genuinely curious as to why you enjoyed this album, especially if you're an Asking Alexandria fan, because it seems so far away from what they used to be, especially from like what diehard fans enjoyed from them. So yeah, if you didn't enjoy it, just let me, uh, I, I would like to know why. And if you have any albums or singles you want me to review, go ahead and leave a comment below letting me know what those are and I will make it happen for you. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon. That way you get notified when I do upload videos so you don't miss out. And I hope you guys all have a good rest of your day. You're staying safe. And I will talk to you guys next time. I was